Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Oprah of whatever. So today I'm coming at you guys with an updated full face drugstore makeup tutorial. Everything you're seeing on my face right now is from the drugstore and this time we are doing like a glam. So I have a shimmer eyeshadow look for you guys. I of course have to come 2019 and come and show you guys my updated um, drugstore tutorial. My drugstore makeup has gotten way better. and I So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. And also I'm going to be giving away some of my favorite products. A lot of the products I'm using in this video, I'm going to be giving away to one of you guys. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. We're about to just get right into this makeup because I don't even want to hold y'all. First thing we're going to do, obviously, is my eyebrows. So when I do my drugstore makeup look, I like to use my e.l.f. Um, brow gel. So it comes with a brow gel on one side and a lash wand on the other side. And it's just basically a clear um, like mascara type of thing and yeah it dries hard so I really like that so I like to just use it to brush my brows into place basically to fill in my brows I'm just using a regular schmegular eyebrow pencil that I get at the beauty supply okay So, because I used the clear gel before I started filling in my eyebrows, my eyebrows are really hard right now. So, this is like a really good trick also if you have sparse eyebrows. So, I really like using the brow gel to stamp it in. So, now I'm going to move on to concealing my brows. I like to use a flat edged brush, nice and flat and thin, very thin. And I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Concealer, and I'm in the color 13. And this concealer is like $7 at Ulta. So, get you one. And I'm gonna blend that in using my Real Techniques. Um, this is a shadow brush. I think it's like a dome shadow brush. Yeah, it's a domed shadow brush. And I like to just use that to pat it in like so. Okay, I don't like a sharp line on my brows, but I do like it to look like there's concealer there and like the brows are defined. So I guess I do leave it like a little sharp. So to conceal the top of my brows, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the color Toast. This color is like pretty close to the color of my skin and I like to conceal the top of my brows with a color that's close to the color of my skin because then it has like, it gives you like a cleaner brow. Using that same brush, the domed eyeshadow brush, I'm going to blend this out. And I'm just gonna go over that with my foundation brush just to make it a little, to make it even smoother. You wanna blend every step as much as you possibly can because if you're blending as you go, then like when you're done as a collective, it'll look just that much better. And look how good it looks, yes, yes. Let's move on to foundation. So today I'm using the Maybelline Superstay foundation and I'm mixing it with the NYX can't stop won't stop foundation i really would just use the nyx one because that's what i plan to use in this video but i realized that i got the color that's just a little too light for me so to make it just a little bit darker i'm gonna mix just a little bit of this so to blend my foundation today i'm gonna be using my real techniques expert face brush i love this brush i love real techniques brushes I'm not going to be wearing primer today because I'm not going anywhere and I don't want to waste my primer. So basically when I do my foundation, I like to start around my mouth and my smile lines and then work my way towards the rest of my face. And I like to use buffing motions after I have applied it. Make sure you also get your neck. 
because girl you do not want to be looking like a cast and then lastly i'm gonna do my forehead i don't like to put too much foundation on my forehead i feel like the less foundation you're wearing the better so for concealers today i'm using the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the color 13, the same one that I used to conceal my eyebrows, and my Juvia's Waist Concealer, and this is in the color 12. And I like to use the Makeup Revolution Concealer first, and then after I blend this out completely, then I go in with the Juvia's Waist Concealer. And I like the Juvia's Waist Concealer because it has a yellow color. Also, make sure you get your nose. So to blend my concealer, I'm using a damp Sonia Cash Hook Beauty Blender. I've been using these lately and I really, really, really like them. I like to blend the edges first and then go into the middle and the front of my face. And as you guys can see, this concealer like blends beautifully. Like look at it. After I have blended the outsides, then I'm gonna go into the middle. And I like to squeeze the beauty blender a little just so I could be more precise. And then bring it into my eyeballs. So now I'm gonna take the Juvia's Place Concealer and literally just put the littlest bit under my eyes. And while that's sitting, the Makeup Revolution um, Fast Base Foundation Stick, and this is in the color F18. And this is what I use to contour my face. So to blend that out, I'm using my Unicorn Blending Brush. I literally call it a Unicorn Blending Brush, but it's just a Real Techniques brush that's like unicorn themed. And I like to be very stingy with the cream contour lately because I like it. I like the look better when I have just like a nice um, powder contour instead of a harsh cream contour. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, that looks so so good like I'm gonna blend it out with my real techniques brush blend out the edges I like everything to be seamless 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 okay blend this little concealer that we have on our face right now less is literally more because you guys saw how much I put and look how much it blends like that wasn't even a lot so to set my face, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Setting Powder, and this is in the color Deep. This is not what I would usually use, but I accidentally threw away what I would usually use, so I am gonna have to use this today, but it's fine. This is a really, really good setting powder for it to be drugstore, like, this setting powder is really good. Like, look at that. What creases, what folds. Going down the middle of my nose, I'm just gonna leave that on there for a while. So this is a little ghetto, but to contour my face, I'm gonna use my True Complexion Contour Powder. And you guys know, like, this is like my favorite contouring product. I still have not found anything that's better than this. So I definitely suggest getting this. This is $5 five dollars and it's like amazing and i like to use an angled brush this is a elf angled wait no this is an elf bronzing brush and look at mine it's literally almost gone and i just got this in december or november i don't know but it's i got it pretty recently and i like to use this more as a bronzer i have a contour that i'm gonna show you guys in a minute but for me, this is more of a bronzer. I feel like it brings a lot of color to my makeup and to my face. And I just love the way it leaves, like it makes my skin look. This this is literally perfect for dark skin. Like To define my contour, I'm gonna use this NICAC New York Duo Contour Kit. And I got this at the beauty supply for $2. $2 and like, 30 cents or something like that. Either way, it was super duper cheap and you should go get it. And the Black Radiance one is more of like a a bronzer and it like 
warms up my face but for this i use this more of as a contour and i like to focus it more on the higher points of my face of the higher points of my cheek right here and then blend it out And to reverse contour, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, but this isn't the color dark. So this is darker than the one that I use for under my eyes. This is like closer to the color of my skin, probably even a little darker. And I'm going to blend it out. I'm gonna apply my blush and this is the Maybelline Dream Bounce blush you guys know I don't like to show my blush because my blush is like super old and beat up and when I do my blush I like to like exaggerate my cheekbones like this so I can get it on the right spot um, I've had this blush for a really long time I feel like it's probably expired by now but I'm still gonna use it though. I'm gonna apply my Wet n Wild highlighter and this is in the color Precious Petals. This is like a super pretty highlighter and I don't like to do too much with my highlighter. I like to bring it to my brows and then I'm gonna do my nose. and the middle of my nose a bit. And I'm so excited for this eyeshadow look because this eyeshadow look is bomb. I'm gonna be using my Morphe 350M palette. If you don't have this palette and you're a beginner, I highly suggest that you invest in this palette because this palette has, and this palette has everything you will need, every color you will need. It is so neutral. And these, this is the matte. They have a 350S, which is a shimmer palette. And then this is the 350M, which is the matte palette. And then they have the 350, which is just shimmer and matte. And a lot of people use this palette to find like their contour shades. Just, it's very like multi-functional. Let's take this color right here. And they don't have names. So yeah, I'm just gonna take that color and put that all over my lid. like so you guys see how like pigmented this is we love that so yeah make sure you blend it like all the way because if you don't your eyeshadow is going to be looking patchy and we don't want that so the brush that i use for this is a rose techniques brush and it's just a big old fluffy blending brush i like this brush because it gets a lot of product and it blends really well. Using the same palette, we're gonna be using the same palette, okay? I'm gonna take this color right here and this color. These are kind of like these dark um, browns, very, very dark browns, and I'm gonna put that at my outer corner. And we want to really define it. And not only am I gonna put it in my outer corner, I am gonna bring it like down to my I, and when you do this, do not be scared. Like, just, just do it. Like, don't be scared. Bring it down. Don't be scared to come down to your bottom waterline because it is so cute. So, I'm gonna be using my Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette from my Shimmer today, and we're gonna be using the colors Dania and Casablanca. What I'm gonna do, really, is I'm gonna take Dania, which is a lighter um, gold color, and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. If you want to, you can spray your brush, just so like it gets, ugh, it gets the color more, and you get more color payoff. So then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna take the darker color. And for that, I'm just going to kind of like blend it all over my eyes. And don't worry about making it perfect because it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm literally just... And that is it. That is literally it. So I'm gonna put on some mascara before I put on my lashes. This is the 
black radiance um bold and sexy fiber mascara so the lashes that i'm wearing today are from the beauty supply i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah they are from the beauty supply and they are mink lashes they're not 25 millimeter but they're mink so i really like that and they just give you like this natural look so i'm gonna go pop these on off camera real quick and i'll be back to show you guys my lips i'm gonna spray my face with my myra badescu setting spray And then I'm going to go in with this Makeup Revolution Sports Fix. Go ahead and align my lips with my Kiss, um, Kiss New York Professional Luxury Intense Liner. Okay guys, so after I line my lips, I'm gonna go in with this Infallible um, Lash Chocolatas, and this is in the color, uh, what is this? 70% Yum, that's what it's called. So yeah, I'm gonna use that in the outline. So then I'm going to take this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and I'm going to put that in the center. And this is in the color Dubai. And that is it guys. Oh my gosh. Let's take this off so we can see the finished look. Okay guys, so that is the finished makeup look. Now I'm gonna show you guys everything that's in the giveaway. So the first thing in this giveaway is the makeup box that everything is gonna come in. All the products are gonna come in this really cute marble makeup box. So first we have these Real Techniques makeup brushes. I first have a um, Artist Essentials for foundation and contour set. And then I have a eye duo set. I wanted to include eye brushes and also like face brushes. And then I also have these two e.l.f. brushes. These are my favorite brushes for highlighting and for contouring. So the next thing I have is this Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. And I think this is just the perfect palette for like a beginner. And next, of course, I have a set of the Sonia Cash Hook Beauty Blenders. These beauty blenders are amazing. I've been using them and I've been loving them lately. So I have the Mario Badescu setting spray. If you watch my videos, you know that I always use the setting spray. So it was only right I included this. And also the NYX Professional Setting Spray. This is the matte finish one. Three um, NYX Butter Glosses. These are my favorite ones. All of these products, I'm pretty sure you guys can tell that these are all the products that I use. I literally just wanted to give you guys all the products that I love. So this is Praline, Ginger Snap, and Madeline. And then I also have the ELF Lip Pumping Lip Gloss. I love this lip gloss. It's like the best. And then I just have a mascara because I wanted this to be kind of like a makeup kit. So I just included like some random mascara that I got at Ulta. Then the last thing I have is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. And this is in the color rose gold this is a rose gold one i feel like this is perfect for any skin tone so i wanted to make it something that anybody could use so now that you guys have seen everything in the giveaway i'm gonna tell you guys how to enter and basically to enter the giveaway this giveaway is gonna be all about engagement so what that means is is i want to choose somebody who truly supports my channel and truly watches my videos comments likes follows me on socials and is just engaging with me all through all my social medias i'm literally going to be handpicking the winner by myself and like i said i'm gonna be picking somebody who is engaging with my content and really watching my videos and commenting and liking and supporting and who i just notice is like you know like really messing with me like they really messing with me like along with that you have to follow me on my social media and that includes Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and all of that would be right here. So yeah, all of that will be right here on the screen. So that's all you have to do. I'm probably gonna be doing like polls. I'm always asking questions on my community tab. Engage on the community tab, engage in my comment section, engage on my social media, and just show me that you're a real supporter. You can win the giveaway, it's that simple. And that is basically it, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like the makeup look. 
Um, I hope you guys were able to learn something from this video. Also, if you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. I love you guys so much. Bye.